Look at those beautiful people. Look at all these beautiful people. Welcome back to Master of the Grid, everyone. I'm here for another round. We've got a full house. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. A whole bunch of new custom skins, of course. Hammer the Trivia Master rocking the uh, soda drink hat. Fantastic. Freeze in here with that beautiful custom skin. We've got Nod Scout over the custom one as well. All these wonderful custom skins. Preach and Amigo. Nero. You got the Creeper on Epic Muffin. The Kappa on Time Lord Sloth. And a couple of crowns here. Luke and Van. Both rocking the victory crowns. Very good. Good stuff, y'all. All right. I think we're about to start. We are, uh, we are full. We are packed to capacity. 83 players enter. Only one shall win. 1,000 gritties. Uh, I'll remind you guys of the rules here, of course. Please refrain from answering anything in the chat if you are not participating, or even if you are participating in the game. Refrain from entering answers in the chat, as that will ruin the experience for others. Uh, speaking of ruining the experience as well, please do not Google or use Wikipedia for any of your answers. That just ruins the fun as well. Um, but other than that, have some fun. Winner gets 1,000 gritties. Second round, finishers get 150. Everybody's gritty for participating. But I think without further ado, it's time. Let's start the show! Let's do it! Yes, sir. Uh, hello, Orange Sun. Welcome, buddy. Of course, uh, I would ask that uh, those of you that are participating in the first game, uh, please do allow others to join up before you join in for your second one in a row. That is just common courtesy as well. First challenge of the day. Let's see it. Which GameCube game sold the most copies? Was it Super Mario Sunshine, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Mario Kart Double Dash, or Super Smash Bros. Melee? 10 seconds. All those being, of course, fantastic GameCube games. The GameCube being one of the, uh, one of the underappreciated consoles of our time. Super Smash Bros. Melee was the answer there with 7.09 million copies. Mario Kart Double Dash was a close second, though, with about 7 million of its own, so you got that one right. Very popular game, Super Smash Bros. Melee. One of my favorite Smash Bros. games, actually, on the, uh, on the GameCube. It was a real good time. All those games, though, man. A whole bunch of fun. First life gone for Tatero, so... You had to click her on that the entire time and switch to the last second. Oh, man. Last Grey Wolf, that's your question. Uh, Smashy, the fastest to answer that one correctly. Well done, Smashy. Like your custom face as well there, dude. That's fantastic. Good start, good start. We had a, quite a few correct answers there. Alright, y'all. This is actually a question I reviewed uh, a couple nights ago. Quite difficult. And I'm going to butcher a lot of the pronunciations of some of these things, but let's see if anybody knows their history. Let's go. Which dynasty held, not all at once, mind you, the thrones of Hungary, Bohemia, Poland, and Lithuania? Was it the Von Habsburgs, the Romanovs, the Jagiellons, or the Tudors? Four seconds. This is a, this is a brutal one. No, Brian, actually, a Pixel Boy made this skin for me. It's fantastic. The Jagelins, which I am probably butchering again the pronunciation of, dissoluted in 1572. Members of the dynasty were kings of Poland, Grand Dukes of Lithuania, kings of Hungary, and kings of Bohemia. Very elaborate. My goodness. Very elaborate dynasty. And not a lot of people managed to get that one. Shady Wolves, welcome to your first live stream, buddy. Glad to have you. Hope you're having a good time. Playing some Master of the Grid. Oh, you didn't click soon enough, Keith, on that. <laughs> Look at all that red. My goodness. Hemp Lord! The fastest to answer that one correctly. Well done, Hemp Lord. Oh, my goodness. That was a, uh, that was a killer. That was a killer, and I know it. I remember reviewing that one and thinking, holy cow, this one is going to result in a whole bunch of red. All right. We got another video game trivia question. Here it comes, folks. By the way, thank you very much, Kirby Fire, for the raid at the beginning of the stream. Totally forgot to mention that. Thank you very much, Kirby Fire, for hanging out. Kirby Fire 245. Thank you for sending your viewers over my way. And Rock Lee Smile with the host as well. What's up, Nick? See you, buddy. Next challenge coming up video game trivia. Let's do it. If you start listing colors, you might accidentally reference a town or city from this classic video game. It's a Karnov. The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Earthbound or Pokemon? Ten seconds left to answer this one. Hello, Dithy Rambus, welcome. 
which one is it gonna be? If you start listing colors, you might accidentally reference a town or city from this classic video game. That, of course, being Pokemon! So you got that one right uh, off the top of my head, I think, uh, Lavender Town. Um, well, I guess... I guess the Indigo Plateau would count as well, wouldn't it? I suppose that makes sense. Let's go to the results here. I think a lot of people may have gotten this one. Starting to eject some folks, though. Ooh, only one from the top row sent out. A couple more from the second row as well. Oh, goodness. Finally a question I have an answer to. Beautiful. Oh, man. There it is. There it is. Pokemon got it. Garord, the fastest to answer correctly. Survival with two hearts up there in the top row. We've eliminated, it looks like, about uh, 10 folks. 73 remaining. We're into question number four. This may, of course, be when we lose quite a few more. Lots of folks with two hearts still remaining. Hemplord actually has managed to get every single question correct up to this point. Well done. Of course, with the fastest fingers on the first one as well. Was that the second question? Yeah, it was the Dynasty question, wasn't it? Emerson with the, cu flat, or the uh, custom skin up there. Looking good, buddy. All right. Bottom row is too good. Yeah, look at the bottom row. All members surviving. Holding hands, sticking strong through the challenges. Well done, bottom row. Here we go with question challenge, rather. Challenge number five. Let's go. The Beatles song yesterday was originally titled what? I believe, scrambled eggs, good morning, or one day earlier. The Beatles song yesterday. Originally titled, I Believe, Scrambled Eggs, Good Morning, or One Day Earlier. Yeah! Did you get it right? Shady Wolves with the subscription and Scrambled Eggs was the answer there. I gotta find my bear. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Shady Wolves. Shady Wolves with the subscription. Welcome to the bear pile, buddy. A big old bear hug to you. Thank you very much for the support. And I raise a glass to you now that I've got my Bears Beers mug. I'm going to get that for you as well. Mm. Thank you very much, buddy. All right, Scrambled Eggs was the answer. Let's see who got that one right. Check out the results here. Quite a few bouncing out, unfortunately. Scrambled Eggs, the title of that song. Mm -hmm. Over 3,000 covers, apparently, of yesterday, by the way. Very interesting. Lost quite a few folks on that one. Tuesday was taken, fastest to answer correctly. Big old Beatles fan, Tuesday was taken, well done. So many ejects. The Beatles are fucking weird, says Last Grey Wolf, nice. Ramsey's all open, man. Hanging out with you as well, nice, Leviana, I love it, it's so nice. I freeze this thing, what I do, I put it in the freezer and it's just, oh, it's so good. So good. Nice cold beverage. Alright. Ooh. Get ourselves a uh, very interesting true or false question coming up. Lots of survivors left the bottom row. Unfortunately, lost a couple of people. Hammer down to one heart. May not be able to survive. Former victors Van and Luke down to one heart each as well. Ooh, it's gonna be it's gonna be close for a few of these folks. Next challenge. Google Plus is the second largest social networking site in the world after Facebook. Is that a true or a false statement? Well, it's, uh, bear in mind, I guess, the fact that, uh, Google Plus managed to get a lot of people to enter into the social network, regardless of whether or not they actually wanted to join. <laughs> Correct answer is true! Currently 540 million users of Google Plus as of, uh, recent, recent data gathering. Basically, Ramsey's. Yeah, that's how I do it. That is a true statement. Let's see who got that one right. May surprise a lot of folks. Yeah, Google basically cheated. I mean, that's... Let's be real. <laughs> that's basically the case there. Oh, we lost quite a few more, man. Guest 27574. Fastest answer correctly on that one. I gotta recommend you guys logging in here so you can uh, actually store away your gritties if you manage to win a round. Get yourselves a nice hat. It's always desirable, right? We're down to about 20, it looks like, of our uh, starting 83. Quite a few down to one heart, it looks, yeah. So let's see if there's anybody. Uh, two hearts on Smashy. Smashy's still hanging in there. Zan's the man in there with one heart. One heart is all around. Robbie Niner and McMidkey, both with two hearts up here. Oh, man. 
A lot of people hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Holy Pie on there as well. Nero with two hearts. Next challenge coming up. Bit of a mix of literature and history here. Let's see who can get it. The 1979 film Apocalypse Now is an adaptation of what classic book? How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Or Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Five seconds. The 1979 film Apocalypse Now is a rendition of which classic book? This Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. So you managed to get that one correct. Quite a few people, wow, my goodness, okay. Well done all, only ejected one person there, it looks like. Non-Scouter, the fastest to answer that one correctly. Well done, everyone. Yeah, Dr. Seuss sounds perfectly reasonable for that one, right? <laughs> you were the only one to get a question wrong on Crazy Mike's stream, oh man, freeze, that's brutal. That's not a good feeling, man, to be, be the, uh, the only red amongst a, a sea of green. Yeah, I thought maybe How the Grinch Stole Christmas might baffle a few folks, but y'all are too smart for that, right? So we managed to uh, maintain the majority of people there. If you are, uh, if you are one familiar with the, uh, the pregnancies of animals, this challenge may be for you. On average, how long is a dog pregnant for? Nine months, nine fortnights, nine weeks, or nine days? On average, how long is a dog pregnant for? Yeah, Ali, I kind of feel like that was a uh, that was the case as well. How long is a dog pregnant for? We will find out. This is actually good information to retain, right? Answer is nine weeks. A shorter period than that of humans. Let's see who managed to either uh, enforce their encyclopedic knowledge of dog preg pregnancies or just get really lucky. We'll find out. A lot of... Oh, wow. My goodness. Okay. Well played all. Gorord. Gorord, the fastest answer that one correctly with the nose off center of his face. Well played, friend. Your dog just had puppies the other day. Nice shave, Wolves. Dogs are really good at having kids, right? <laughs> How many are we down to now? We got 4, 8, 12, 16, 17 folks remaining. Dog pregnancies and apocalypse now. The specialties of those remaining in the, in the audience. Next challenge coming up. Big Leo fans out there, maybe? Let's find out. Within 5%, what percentage of people on the Titanic managed to survive? Within 5%, this is your best estimate. Guess within 5% of the percentage of people on board the Titanic who managed to survive the crash. We know there's at least one, right? So 1% may not be that far off. It was between 63 and 73%, which is actually surprising to me. Uh, the total percentage that... Uh, oh, hold on a second here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, somebody somebody goofed. Somebody goofed here. I'm gonna have to review this question. Apologize, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna make a note of this one. So the actual uh, the actual percentage that survived was 32. 32 percent of the crew was saved. 68 percent of the crew was or of the uh, onboard passengers were lost. So my apologies to those of you who may have may have lost out here. Flag that question, yes. Oh, man, we gotta save that one. That is incorrect. Yep. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, good, everybody got it wrong. <laughs> Nobody got the answer. Perfect. That worked out swimmingly. I will fix that, though. Apologize, yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta remind you. Don't shoot the messenger here. I'm not the one reviewing every single question, so I apologize if some of these are not accurate. But we will get, we will get that fixed. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> Let's move on to something that can't possibly be construed that way. Let's start off with a new challenge here. Johnny Cash's song "A Boy Named Sue" was written by what children's author? R.L. Stein, Shel Silverstein, Judy Bloom, or Roald Dahl? 
Oh, Ra Rob Dole. Rob Dole, was that the the NLSS clip what they were saying? <laughs> Rob Dole. A boy named Sue was written by which children's author? Let's find out. Correct answer, Shell Silverstein. Stein? Steen? Depends on what your country of origin is there, I guess, but let's go to the results. So you get that one right. Oh, quite a few people bouncing out. Quite a few correct answers, though, as well. Robbie Niner, surviving with two hearts, and the fastest answer that one correctly as well. Roll Dahl. Roll Darl, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> oh, that was good. Roll Darl. We're down to eight. Down to the Elite Eight. Roll Dahl. Rest in peace, front row. We are down to Sokif, Smashy, Nero, Van. Green Mage, Midkey, Robbie Niner, and Mr. Zombie Stick. Van, former uh, Victor, looking for the repeat here. Team Van is on board. We got ourselves a knight, a knighthood question. See how familiar are y'all with that, with that realm? Let's do it. Sir Edmund Andros was the governor of the County of New England, the Dominion of New England, the Kingdom of New England. Or the Republic of New England? This is a bit of a mixed bag question. You have to ask yourself, what would, uh, what would Sir Edmund Andros be the governor of? Not necessarily that you need to know who he is, but maybe, uh, maybe more so how governing bodies operate. That would be the Dominion. The Dominion, rather, of New England. Sir Edmund Andros, in office from 1686 to 1689. Very close to a, a desirable year for most of Twitch chat, I would imagine. So you managed to get that one right. The Dominion of New England. Sir Edmund Andros reigns supreme. Soak it the fastest to answer that one correctly. Hello, Mr. Anthony Lacey. How's it going? Yeah, I love that too, Zans. I love trying to pretend that I know something about it after the fact as well, right? Oh, well played, Green Mage. We're down to six. And then there were six. Sokith, Smashy, Van, Robbie Niner, Midkey, and Mr. Zombie Stick, all with one heart remaining. Hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Which is just a disgusting turn of phrase when you think about it. There's a very common trivia question coming up here, actually. Let's see if it manages to stump anybody. Right now. What is the largest lake in the world by volume? Is that Lake Turkana, Gray's Lake, Lake Baikai, or Lake Michigan? Or sorry, Lake Baikal. Lake Turkana, Gray's Lake, Lake Baikal, or Lake Michigan, the largest lake in the world by volume. Keep that very, very specific matter in mind. The correct answer is Lake Baikal! With a total volume of tw two, or uh, sorry, 23,000. 600 cubic kilometers. So you managed to grab that one. Oh, few people! My goodness, everyone out, and the winner is Smashy! Smashy, congratulations, buddy. A thousand gribbles for you. Or gritty, sorry. I always say gribbles. Gribbles is just so fun to say, but Smashy has won. 1,000 gritties. Congratulations, buddy. Of course, everybody that just lost in that last round, 150 gritties to you as well. Well played, folks. Fantastic. Well done, Smashy. You know your lake by call, friend. Well done. All right, folks. We are going to fill up seating again. That is the end of our show here. We'll be back after 60 seconds waiting for seating to fill again. And we'll play some more Master of the Grid right after this.